All right, y'all, check this out. This Oracle of Wall Street lady is out here saying that home prices are gonna drop because young dudes are living with their parents way too long. I mean, what's next? Breaking news. The economy collapses because grown men can't stop playing Xbox in their mom's basement. Well, I guess it's time to invest in more basement apartments, folks, because apparently that's where the future is at. This is Real Estate Rundown. That's what she said. Now here we go. In a recent analysis, Meredith Whitney, often hailed as the Oracle of Wall Street for her accurate predictions during the financial crisis, has presented a new perspective on the future of the U.S. housing market. The Oracle lady is predicting a significant decline in home prices is on the horizon. And a notable factor contributing to this trend is the lifestyle choices of young American males. She says that a growing number of young men are opting to stay single for longer periods and are increasingly choosing to live with their parents. This demographic shift, she argues, is leading to a decrease in demand for housing. A um, growing crisis of the young American male, whereby um, it, uh, back in 2013, uh, young men were, and this is between um, 24 and 35 young men, um, were 50% uh, more likely to live at home. Now they're twice as more like, uh, likely to live at home than women. So one out of five young men live at home with their parents. And this, these aren't young men going to college and coming home for um, holiday breaks. These are you know, right. young grown men choosing to live at home. Surprisingly, this does have some correlation with the decline in household formation. In fact, according to Pew Research, household formation is at its lowest point in 160 years, with more guys now staying single and living at home than ever before. The theory is that this shift is expected to crush the demand for homes. Could it really be that bad? Maybe these guys are just implementing a strategy of saving up for a down payment. I mean, with home prices the way that they are, it takes forever to just save up and prepare to buy a house, right? But actually, they called out that the fastest growing leisure spend is fantasy sports and online sports betting. The negative impacts is that it's all young men. And I parallel that with, or dovetail that with Pew Research, which says that 63% of young men are single. And that's the highest it's ever been. And 50% of those young men have no interest in dating, not even casually. And 30% of those men, or 30% of young men, say they have not had sex in over a year and don't seem to care. Wow, really guys, what are you doing out there? Are you just gonna stand around and let all the good ones get away? And young women who are spending their time really with, with Instagram moments, going to the Taylor Swift concert. Houses, guys, I was talking about letting all the good houses get away. Anyhow, if you're not out there driving the demand for homes, then what's gonna happen to the housing market? Man dynamics. So you've had a demand supply imbalance, more demand, less supply. And I think that's going to invert into a supply demand uh, imbalance. And here's why. The bulk of housing, so 90% of housing in the United States is owned by households over 40. And then 74% um, uh, uh, is owned by people over 50. And then 56% uh, is owned by people over 60. All right, so Whitney goes on to revisit her theory of a silver tsunami predicting that a wave of homes will come onto the market in the future as the boomer generation ages and they finally decide to sell. This theory generates a lot of different opinions and is contested by some analysts who argue that the influx of homes will be balanced out by the entry of younger generations into the housing market. But what if the younger generations are not so interested in buying or, or perhaps they just find it more affordable or convenient to rent or live at home? Indeed, if these predictions hold true, then it could actually lead to a supply and demand reversal. It could be like 2008 all over again and prices will come crashing down, right? While many experts continue to forecast rising home prices, citing high mortgage rates and a persistent shortage of available homes, Whitney's analysis suggests a different trajectory. She attributes the anticipated change to not only demographic shifts, but also to the economic pressures faced by single individuals in purchasing homes compared to dual income households. Despite these differing opinions, Whitney's forecast highlights the potential impact of changing societal norms and demographic trends on the real estate market. 
As the debate continues, the housing market remains a critical area to watch for both investors and potential homebuyers. Now we ask you, when do you think this will happen and how many years will it take to play out? We always appreciate it when you take time to watch and comment. Please leave a comment below and let us know how you feel about today's housing market. This is Real Estate Rundown. See you next time.